Today's video was supposed to be about my mom comparing the brand new FN Reflex against the Springfield Hellcat. They're both 11 round subcompact 9mm handguns, but as I was packing both the guns, I say to myself, mom's going to ignore pretty much everything about these two guns except for the optic because the Reflex had an optic, the Hellcat did not. I was exactly right. The gun with the optic, that was the... My favorite. Your favorite, but because it had the optic. Yes. Yeah, I've never used one, and it's almost like cheating. Mom, that's pretty good. Look at that. But you know what? We hit the range anyways, and we learned a whole lot, and it kind of gave me the idea to make this buyer's guide if you're looking to pick up a gun for your mom or your wife or your sister or whatever. 511 sponsored this episode, and remember, Father's Day is coming up, so 511 is generously giving you a 20% off coupon online only. TFB TV viewers get it for the last week of May. It expires June 1, so use this coupon code ASAP. Plus, don't procrastinate, get your shit for your dad. All right, so here's the original intro. Here we go. So, today, the day after Mother's Day, last year I took mom to the range for Mother's Day. Couldn't do it yesterday because she wanted to go to brunch, probably get ripped off of Kendall Jackson Chardonnay Mimosas, and the range doesn't open till noon, so we said, you know what, we'll just go today. 511 actually sent a bunch of really cool stuff to mom for the range today. We got to pay the bills, 511's a sponsor, so you're going to be seeing some of the stuff that mom got yesterday, but it was funny because like I tipped the server 20 bucks to bring it out and make a big surprise out of it. Mom started crying. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Father's Day is coming up. If you want your dad to cry, get him some 511. Mom starts crying. I had to turn the camera off, you know, because I don't want to be the jerk who's like, oh, we got to get the content. Like my mom is weeping and I've got a camera jammed in her face. We're bringing the new FN Reflex pistol. It's an 11 round micro compact and we're bringing the other 11 round micro compact. That is the Springfield Hellcat. We're going to have a little bit of a face off. We're gonna let mom be the judge as to whether or not she likes nine mil compacts. And if she does, which micro compact she would prefer because right now she's shooting a Smith & Wesson Shield EZ, but she's been doing that for a while. So she's gotten a lot better. And as a matter of fact, I'm kind of trying to up my game because in 2024, I'm gonna to go to Clint Smith's range boot camp when they kick in your bedroom door and you put a load of buckshot in their chest that will psychologically intimidate them and they shouldn't be breaking into your house i am not and do not advocate that you shoot people then you're going to acquire a lawyer i also am not and do not advocate that you die in your own home and be butchered by a bunch of savages clint smith will beat your ass mom he he's got a potty mouth you know that well so does my son we all love moms we all love mother's day how would you like to get an experience similar to being a mother, except instead of bearing an unborn child, you're bearing your concealed handgun of choice. I've got the new 511 Skyweight Utility Chest Pack. Lindsay and I brought this on our recent, her birthday, we went and did a bunch of national parks. I wore this around, it was actually super handy, love it. I'm gonna give one of these away. I'll drop a link in the description. It is only for Subscribestar and Utreon supporters. So get on there, help us out. We don't take money in exchange for positive reviews. So we are viewer supported. I bring mom to Tijuana Flats for some burritos, as is tradish. Oh my God, I need some of the names. <laughs> Got some potty language on there, huh, mom? What? You don't think you can what? Eat something called smack my ass and call me Sally. Can, because it's delicious. Can. I, I All right, I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they shoot out pretty fast. And then I bring her to the Pensacola Indoor Shooting Range, which, by the way, is a fantastic and very well-run range. If you're in the Pensacola area, these guys treat my mom like the queen she is. I really appreciate them. Let's get into the list. Very important note, this is not one of my traditional lists where I'm going from best to worst or worst to best, whatever. Picking out a firearm, especially for an inexperienced shooter, is an extremely difficult nuanced process, especially without going to the range with this person. So all of these I would consider to be equally good options depending on 
who your shooter is. Chances are your mom's gonna love some of them, hate the others. Let's go over the options. Starting with number one, and if I did have to pick a one gun, this would probably be it. The Smith & Wesson Shield EZ in 380, perhaps nine millimeter, depending on how comfy mom is with a larger caliber. Last year, I bought mom her first gun, the Smith & Wesson Shield EZ in 380. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. I love you, mom. Mom loved it then, she loves it now. I'm sure there's some sentimental value attached to it, but she just raves about this gun. She shoots it well, it's easy for her to manipulate, and that's the most important thing. I'm gonna spare you all the details at this point because I've already done a full video on it last year, but I can comfortably recommend this gun. If your mom's a beginner or a novice shooter, if she's over 50 years old, you wanna get her a handgun that has actual capability, but it's still easy for her to load, rack, the slide, shoot, feel safe carrying, it's got a safety. Smith & Wesson Shield EZ 380, all the way, no question. Watch the video from last year if you want more info on that. The Shield EZ 380 is great, but there are some limiting factors. One, it's a 380, nine millimeters, substantially more powerful, generally speaking, although 380 gets the job done most of the time, nine's where it's at. They do make a shield easy in nine millimeter. It's basically the same size as the 380, but about five ounces heavier. Second, the shield easy has an extremely limited capacity of eight rounds in either caliber in spite of its size. I'd call this a spatially inefficient gun. I'm not saying that I would make this gun any smaller. It's larger by design and the large size relative to the small caliber makes it very easy for mom to shoot. That all said, mom's been shooting the Shield EZ in 380 for a year now. She absolutely loves it. She goes to the range up to four times a month, so she's gotten quite good. On the one year anniversary of Gun Mother's Day, the best kind of Mother's Day, we were gonna see how mom did with this exploding category of micro compact nine millimeter handguns. That's nine mils that are about four inches tall, about one inch thick, holding at least 10 rounds of ammo. Mom loved the FN Reflex, and she shot it extremely well. We use the MRD version, which is cut for an optic. At 659 bucks, it's about the same as other guns in its class price-wise. Connie preferred the Reflex to the Hellcat, but to be fair to Springfield, the Hellcat didn't have an optic, so mom couldn't really make a fair comparison. That's on me. Mom, that's pretty good. Look at that. Yeah, it, just, it feels more a solid grip. I like it. This one's a little rough. Mm -hmm. Still my favorite, though. You, you, Mom, you're just saying that just because of the optic. <laughs> <laughs> the Reflex MRD is a good option for Mom for a couple of reasons. One, it has an easy-to-rack slide for a micro-compact. That can be a hang-up for a lot of these smaller nines. Mom's pretty tough, but I worry about the amount of force it takes to rack a lot of the micro compacts out there. The reflex is pretty easy. Two, the iron sights on the reflex are pretty good, especially the tritium front high visibility sight, really easy to pick up. Three, the MRD version accepts the Holosun K series of optics without needing any adapters. Red dot sights can be tricky to people who aren't used to them, but my mom absolutely loved using a red dot. She shot it like a pro at five yards, almost everything in the 10 ring. She said it was like cheating. The good news is if you get the MRD version, you have the ability to add an optic and a light to it down the road, but you don't need to. If mom's not ready for an optic, she can just use these really good iron sights on the reflex. That said, Micro compact nines are also very snappy. Mom broke her firing grip a couple of times with the reflex. Not exactly what you want in a gun for Ma. The reflex also has a pretty light trigger and no safety. FN says five pounds. My trigger gauge says three and a half to four, which is what it felt like. Some moms freak out about no safety. I'd say as a micro compact backup, and I hate to ride the Smith & Wesson train here, but s and Shield Plus Optics Ready also has a great trigger, a longer track record of reliability, the option for a thumb safety, and as I said, Optics Ready. The Reflex is pretty great, but I would only recommend it for more experienced shooters 
who are comfortable without a safety. For Micro 9s, for mom, maybe go Shield Plus. Number three, I absolutely love the Beretta 80X Cheetah. They're really hard to find at the time this video is being filmed because they are brand spanking new, but they're going to be about seven or $800 when they are in stock. It's a little pricey. But did I just hear you bring up price when you're talking about your mom's personal protection? What a piece of shit. The gist is that the 80X is the updated version of the Beretta 84. It's a 13 plus one round 380, so you get pretty good capacity. At 21 ounces, a little large for 380, but that also means reduced recoil, so it's kind of a sweet spot. This gun still weighs less than many polymer frame compact 9 millimeters. Not bad for an all-metal gun. The Cheetah is extremely reliable, extremely accurate, optics ready, light ready, has an excellent double action trigger, and it takes common Beretta 84 magazines that are cheap and reliable, made by Metgar. You also have a four inch long barrel, which means that you're getting about 10% or more additional velocity and power from the Cheetah versus other compact 380s with three inch and shorter barrels. The ADX also has an easy to use ambi thumb safety. You don't really have to use the safety if you don't want to. While Beretta doesn't recommend that you carry this gun cocked and locked, you could carry it with the safety disengaged and the hammer down. That means your first trigger pull is going to be double action, going to be longer and heavier, just shy of seven pounds, but not too heavy, at the same time heavy enough where it will reduce the possibility of a negligent discharge in mom's Gucci bag. Of course, because it's a double action, single action, the slide will then cock the hammer on all of your follow-up shots and give you a pleasant four and a half pound smooth single action trigger pull. Although I think the ADX is a wonderful option for mom, it does have some drawbacks other than being a 380. The main one is that for 380, it's kind of big. It's a plus, it's a minus. It's about the same size as many subcompact nine millimeters. But remember, you're buying for mom, so it's probably not a huge issue to have a smaller caliber and a bigger gun. If you get her a 380 that's too small, She'll say it's snappy, and she'll hate it more than that rambunctious rap music that you listen to. Related to that, some people say they get hammer bite, or that the ADX tweaks their hand in a weird way when they shoot it because it's a straight blowback 380. This actually happens to me with the Makarov, but neither me, nor my mom, nor my wife, Lindsay, experienced this with the ADX at the range but it is a possibility to consider. That said, I think if you get an ADX for your mom, the only thing that you should worry about is her naming it Fabio. Number four, as usual, the controversy slot. Recommending a revolver for your mom is one of the most controversial things you can do, mainly because the people who recommend revolvers to women don't actually consider the cons at all, and they just are like, here you go, mom, here's a pink grip revolver, and they present it like it's the best thing to happen to mom ever since Danielle Steele. And there's a lot of pluses. Revolvers are incredibly reliable. You can also get good power in a small package. They virtually never require any sort of malfunction clearing. Huge plus, don't require racking a slide to charge the gun, so you don't need a lot of strength to actually load one and get it ready to shoot. If you have an older mom who just can't charge a pistol, big bonus. Revolvers really can be shirtless Daniel Craig for your mom, but they can also be shirtless Jonah Hill, if you don't mind your cons. With no reciprocating slide, revolvers direct all of the recoil backwards into the shooter's hand, meaning that 38 Special is less powerful than 9mm, but has a lot more recoil, and that's not good. Revolvers also have double action triggers, which are heavy and very long, and we're not going to say anything more than that because this is a video about your mom, you sick son of a bitch. But revolvers can be extremely difficult to shoot or control a flinch when mom's expecting the gun to go bang and she's still only halfway done pulling back the trigger. This can be doubly bad when you give your mom a Smith & Wesson airweight snub nose that weighs like 12 ounces and mom's shooting 38 Special Plus P out of it. Also, sights typically shit in revolvers and I can barely reload a revolver when I've got a hangover. I can't picture mom reloading a J-frame while the village rapist is chasing her down the street. That all said, I've always been impressed with the Ruger LCRX series of revolvers. They're lightweight, but the oversized rubber grips are far more comfortable than what typically comes on entry-level Smith & Wesson revolvers, and it makes a huge difference. The triggers are also excellent. Build quality is great. 
you get a lot of options. You can go with a snubby that's smaller, or you can get a 22 WMR or a 38 Special or a 327. They even made a 9mm for a while, but they also make 3 inch versions that are a little bit bigger with a fuller grip that would be easier for mom to control and also get better ballistics, but they're only a couple ounces heavier than the snubbies. That's an option. If your mom's got a hard time racking a slide, revolvers might be your ticket. The good news is you can bring mom to the range and then you can decide on the caliber and the frame size that meets her needs and then she can get some practice. Number five, really like a number five and six because I'm picking a couple of Walthers here for roughly the same reason. Even though I've never shot or handled the Walther PK380, I do read your comments and many of you have recommended the PK380 as an alternative to the Shield EZ380. This German-made competitor to the Shield EZ has a smooth, roughly four pound trigger. It's got a safety, even though it's a shitty slide-mounted safety. It weighs just 17 ounces, it's fully ambi, and they make it in all of the basic bitch frame colors you want, including pink, purple, muddy girl, and if your mom's a stripper, you can get her one in Cheetah, and I will see her at the Claremont Lounge next weekend capacity is limited to just eight plus one but if you like paddle magazine releases getting your mom a pk380 is a great way for you to come out to your mother possibly a better option if your mom can handle the nine is the walther pdp f series i got my hands on one of these absolutely loved it plus it has a standard button magazine release i shot it at the neutral ground gun company best gun store in the world with star employee Kelsey, and she thought the PDP-F was great too. It's optics ready, Glock 19 size, 15 round plus one capacity. F stands for female. As far as I can tell, the only real difference between this and the regular PDP is the reduced grip circumference, making it easier for your mom to grab on this. Settle down, boys. This is a Mother's Day video. Need you to stop it. This is definitely the largest gun on the list, but it's definitely the most capable in terms of being able to accessorize with an optic light total capacity of 16 rounds of nine millimeter and it's just a wonderful pistol although it's a little big might be tough for mom to conceal that's the list like i said no particular order take mom to the range with these suggestions also tell me what you guys think i'm always listening to your input what did i get right what did i get wrong on this list what does your mom like Leave it in the comments. Finally, don't forget Father's Day right around the corner. Don't forget your boy, Jay Reeves, got you a 20% off 511 coupon that you have to use by the end of the month. Compliments of 511 and TFB TV. Thanks for watching, gents. Take care.